Hi darlings, I hope you're all alright and keeping safe and taking care of yourselves. I just wanted to come on quickly today just to give my two pennies and have a quick ramble about what's been going on with Trisha Paytas and this uh, pod podcast that she's done with Keemstar. First of all, I just wanted to say that um, for me, I... Um, I listened very carefully to what she said and the reasons why she said that she did it. I don't doubt for one moment that she does like to discuss things with people that she's had uh, problems with. I don't doubt for one moment that she wanted to sort it out and make peace and have it underlined and finished. But I do not believe that that was the first and main reason why she did it. She was invited to do that podcast by Keemstar. He did it for monetary reasons and for attention reasons, uh, publicity for his podcast. He knew that it would attract a lot of attention. So for financial and career reasons, she accepted him for the same reason. Because Trish's career and most of these YouTuber, these big YouTubers careers are based on publicity and attention and sometimes bad attention, bad publicity is sometimes good for them. In fact, a lot of the time it's good for them. It attracts attention to them and their career and builds it up. It's a... Um, a tool that they use to seek fame and fortune here on social media. That's why she did it. And also, I think there was also a little bit of a hint of stuff you, Ethan, Ethan Klein, because I think she really has still got the uh, bit between the teeth with him. And she, and she admitted that, that it still triggers her and it still gets her annoyed. So, like I say, I don't doubt for one moment that she wanted to discuss the um, little bit of a battle that they've been having lately. But I think first and foremost, I think she's been disingenuous. I think the real reason was because it would court controversy and attention to her and her channel, etc, etc, a business career. Also, when it comes to these, um, this text message that um, Donna, Ethan's mother, was uh, purportedly to have sent to Moses, who is Trisha Paytas's fiance. I don't doubt for one moment that Ethan was yap yap yapping in his mother's ear, painting Trisha to be the black-hearted villain. I know he must have done it to her because he did it publicly, trying to make out that it was all down to Trisha and her behaviour and her personality and things she'd said and done. You know, the ending of Frenemies. Donna behaved like most mothers would. She was outraged. And when your child is being upset, the first thing you do is you come to its defence. Now, I don't know, none of us know exactly what was in that text. But bearing in mind that I'm a, a woman myself, I have been for 47 years, and I've been around women all of my life. And I've met a lot of nasty pieces of work. Some real, real bitches. I can only imagine what she put in that text. In fact, I have a great suspicion of one route that text may have taken. But as Trisha said, I wouldn't want to bring that sort of negativity out into the universe myself either. So we won't delve into that. But... That's how women are. Men fight with their fists. Two blokes will have an argument. One will punch the other one's lights out, pick him up off the floor. They'll shake hands and they'll part ways. It's done and dusted. Women fight with their minds, their mouths. And when we shoot out an arrow of hate, we never miss our mark because we're very clever. I think that's what makes us the most dangerous. We can break hearts. We can break souls with the things that we say when we're having a confrontation with another person. 
I know it's horrible to be on the receiving end of things like that. But Tricia, you yourself have admitted that you also have done and said some terrible things. This verbal ping pong back and forth is never going to end because for every accusation one side can fire towards the other, the other one, the other side can fire one back. This could go on for years. It, it could be never ending. And it's sad because it's family. The only one who's benefiting out of all of this is that little grub, Keemstar. Wherever he is at this very moment, that lad is laughing his socks off. Because he's the only winner in all of this. Ethan, his family, his wife's family, Trisha, Moses, her family, they're the losers. You're making yourself look foolish. All of you are. I'm embarrassed for you. I was cringing watching those TikToks. It's sad because you all can't just walk away from each other. You're not work colleagues, you're not friends, you're not neighbours. Your family, there's family ties and families can't just walk away from each other. Because blood is thicker than water. And you have all got to find some way of being civil to each other and getting along. Because you're hurting your extended family. Moses, his sister, their parents. And I don't for one moment think that Trisha's family are unaffected by it. They're all very upset. Well, I think it, a sister is for definite. It's sad all around and I wish you'd all just belt up. You know, all of this has proven to me that I just haven't got what it takes to be a top YouTuber. I never had any aspirations and I don't think I'll ever get to their heights. That There will never be a million odd subscribers on this channel because I just, I have too much integrity. I just couldn't behave that way. I have too much decorum. Is it really worth it, all of these shenanigans? In the middle of the night when you're lying in bed thinking about all the things that have gone on and all the things that you've said to each other and the back and forwarding. Is it worth it, the Rolls Royces and the, their posh handbags and the big houses and the posh holidays? Is it, is it really worth it? It, it's sad and this is the reason why I think this, this is just a reflection of what's going on in the world we're all going to hell in a handcart and it's it's sad and like I said I just wish they'd all just shut up shut up and belt up and if you can't say anything bloody nice to each other don't say anything at all just be civil and grow up because we're not talking about children, we're not talking about babies here. We're talking about 30-somethings, 40-somethings. Ethan's parents have got to be in their 50s, got to be. It's sad. Well, it is for me anyway. But anyway, I've had my rant, I've had my say. <laughs> and that's why I come on to do this ramble in the first place, to, you know, get it out of me. Because, <laughs> you know, you have to sometimes, don't you, when you all riled up. I'd be really interested to hear about what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Is there anything you can add to the whole story? Because I'm sure I don't know everything and I'm sure there's more to come. Take care of yourselves. I love you loads. Bye.